Happy Friday, everybody. This week, The Daily Fix is brought to you by Deadpool 2, now on Blu-ray and digital. To celebrate, you Snapchat users can snap this code to unlock the exclusive Deadpool baby legs filter. It is just as bewildering and wrong as you remember in the film. Once you're done filling up your story with baby legs and grossing out all your friends, let's get to the fix. Are you ready to return to the galaxy far, far away? Star Wars Resistance has a release date and a first official trailer. The series takes place before The Force Awakens and features familiar characters like Poe Dameron and General Leia alongside tons of new aliens, droids, and villains. It centers on a young pilot, Kaz, recruited by the Resistance to spy on the First Order. Of course, some people are already criticizing the tone and animation style, but friendly reminder that if you want gritty tough guy stuff, Clone Wars is also returning. George Lucas could have directed Apocalypse Now, but he instead opted to expose a generation of moviegoers to the magic of myth and make wizards fly around in spaceships, and also sell toys. Anyway, the Resistance cast is packed with stellar talent, and Oscar Isaac and Gwendolyn Christie will be reprising their roles as Poe and Captain Phasma. Star Wars Resistance premieres October 7th on the Disney Channel. Spyro Reignited, the lovingly reimagined take on the original Spyro trilogy, needs a little more fine-tuning. Toys for Bob Studio and Activision both announced the trilogy is being pushed back to November 13th. The studio says this delay will enable them to polish all three games, so fans will have to wait a few extra weeks before they're soaring above Clifftown and saving dragons. But you know what? This is probably for the best, and it just means that Spyro is getting the love and attention he deserves. Venom is on track to surpass Sony's estimates for its opening weekend. With estimates originally in the 30 to $50 million range, Box Office Pro is now saying the numbers are more like 55 to 85 million. This means that it's possible Venom will exceed gravity with the biggest October opening weekend in North America. Like Gravity, the Sandrick Bullock movie, not the law of physics. Venom starring Tom Hardy as Eddie Brock opens in the US on October 5th. Oh, and by the way, I've just been informed that gravity is a theory, not a law of physics. The time has come. The Daily Fix is on Snapchat. That's right, the fix has gone vertical. Five days a week, we are giving extra game news, extra pop culture news, extra awesome news. Follow us by using the snap code or by searching for Daily Fix on Snapchat. And that is your Daily Fix for August 17th. Now that you're caught up, take a look at our unofficial preview for Shadow of the Tomb Raider and tickle your eardrums and funny bones with the dulcet tones of Hirsute Welshman, Gav Murray. Murphy. On that uncomfortable note, I'm Max Scoville. Don't forget to download the IGN app on your platform of choice, and remember you can get your fix anytime online at IGN.com. But more importantly, have a great weekend.